Hey guys, Unfrequented World, and as promised, I'm just out on the deck. I've been out here since 6 o'clock this evening, just watching the sky. I thought maybe it doesn't have to be dark. Maybe we could see something before dark. It's uh, 9.30 now, starting to get dark. I'm going to sit here for a couple more hours. Uh, this is all in regards to Tom and I and two other neighbors seeing a blue light. Um, just skimming through the tops of the trees over here a couple nights ago and it's been storming and raining ever since so we haven't had uh, the chance to see anything or check out stars in the sky tonight it's clear we're gonna do that so we've got lots of solar lights out in the yard and here in the gazebo, my wife's got a string of lights set up, so it won't be totally dark. But we'll be able to watch the night sky. And I'm also keeping an ear out. The other night, there was an owl. Somewhere in those trees over there between Tom's house and my house. And for hours, it went on. Crying and hooting and... But I was so tired, I just couldn't get up and and take a look the other night so I don't know if you guys can see them but I can see bats flying around up there there goes one right there here comes another one right there yeah so the mosquitoes are starting and the bats are out good night for an alien abduction as you can see, the mosquitoes are nice and thick out here right now, too, so... We will get the parabolic dish out, and I will leave it, probably, I'll put it out at the backyard, right along the edge of the forest, so we don't get any noises from the house. But I'm going to watch the sky here as long as I can stand it. Okay, so I actually went back in the house, I grabbed a light, grabbed a jacket, grabbed the parabolic dish. We might run that right from the deck while we're up here for an hour or two. You never know, we might catch something while we're just sitting here quietly. I uh, got a spare flashlight, just in case. And I actually grabbed my A7R3 still camera. And we can take some night shots of the sky with that, some time lapse. See if we can capture something that way as well. Ten o'clock, and I am getting eaten alive. I'm going to go into the screened in gazebo here. I can still see the sky, and um, hopefully, in the next hour, the mosquitoes are going to die down. I'm just going to sit in here quietly. I'm going to turn the parabolic dish on before I do that. That's the plan. I just heard the fox. So I'm polluting my own parabolic recording over here right now. But I just heard the fox behind me. The parabolic's actually pointed in the other direction. And I'm starting to see the first stars of the night are coming out. So, But I could also hear something walking in the bush back here. I don't know. I've had baby deer, uh, two twin fawns, every evening and every morning. I didn't see them tonight, but they've been here. So it could just be them. I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys that light you're looking at right there it's got to be a planet it's just come up over the trees here over the last five minutes and it is not moving that's just 
me hand holding the camera zoomed in 30 times whatever this camera does and it makes it look like things are moving so when you see stuff on YouTube and people say oh it was moving around no that I believe is a planet it's not a star it's really bright that is by far the brightest thing in the sky tonight Venus maybe and it is fading in and out so that could be atmospheric whatever in between it and earth but that's what we're looking at right there very hard I think the light is up there I think you guys can see it very hard to focus on things like that with the camcorder so I actually had to manually focus the camera out as far as it would to infinity so that you could see that light floating around back there so it's very difficult to capture uh, anomalies especially at night so even if we do see something tonight I don't know that I'll be able to, to capture it but well other than mosquitoes but I'm I'm gonna try we're game Bullock is running around the corner. I could hear. I don't know what I could hear. I thought it was voices from the bush. It could be. I heard a loud crack, something moving through the bush. Then I thought I heard distant voices, male voices. Shouldn't be anybody back behind my house. Maybe the parabolic will pick up better what I couldn't hear with my own ears. I found it. You guys see him right there? He's hiding behind that branch. There he is. See, he just moved his head. Well, hello, Mr. Porcupine.
I couldn't figure out what it was. I could hear that for a long time. And every time I'd flash the light around looking for eyes, I couldn't see anything. Big old porcupine climbing the tree right here in my yard. Well, that got my heart pumping for a little bit anyway. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't record that. There, it's moving, look. That one's moving, whatever it is. So there's what the camera sees. And if you look just above the camera, that's what my eyes see. I don't see anything but blackness and a couple little pinpoints of light, the stars. But we're doing 20 second exposures with the camera and the camera sees the full night sky. And you can see the mosquitoes buzzing around the light of my camera. There are thousands of them out here and they're driving me crazy right now. Nothing. I never see anything when I'm out here with the cameras and ready to capture something. Well, it's a beautiful night out here, guys. It's midnight, but I can't take one more second of these mosquitoes. They have not let up. They did not stop. It's a warm night. They are not going to stop. I've taken a bunch of still photos. We've got a bunch of satellites I've seen going through with my own eyes. And another one that I filmed on the video camera. I don't know how that's going to turn out. But I didn't see anything tonight that was like we saw the other night. So when I show you guys the satellite, if we can... Actually, if the clip's any good, I'll show you guys the satellite. It was seven or eight times the size of a satellite going by. Now, we're going to be zoomed in if this clip is any good. I don't know. It's pitch black out here. Um, I'm in manual focus, in night mode, trying to film a little speck going across the night sky so I don't know even if we did see something tonight would I have been able to film it I don't know I tried I'm going to take the parabolic dish out to the back of the yard right now and we're just gonna leave it run for four or five hours and I'll analyze all that footage tomorrow the porcupine is still over here in that tree I can hear him occasionally a uh, break in a branch so we'll move the dish 200 meters from him okay so if we hear anything out there, it shouldn't be the porcupine. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.